Here in the lab, we think that using a spectroscopic approach can help answering key questions in the transient receptor potential ion channel family, such as determining the dynamic conformational changes associated with polymodal activation. The main advantage of this protocol is that allow obtaining milligram of pure and functional mammalian ion channel for electron paramagnetic resonance and double electron electron resonance spectroscopy. This method can provide insight into the conformational changes compatible with thermal and ligand dependent gating of 3B1. It can also be applied to other trip channels like 3B2, for example. Begin this procedure with design mutagenesis primers with online tools. Prepare the PCR reaction as described in the text protocol and spin the mixture. Place the tubes in the thermocycler and perform PCR mutagenesis using the PCR parameters listed in the text protocol. Then add 2 microliters of DPN1 enzyme to the reaction and mix. Incubate the reactions at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Next, perform the transformation by adding 75 microliters of thawed E. coli competent cells and 10 microliters of DPN1 treated PCR mixture to a pre cooled 14 milliliter sterile tube. After mixing gently, incubate reaction on ice for 30 minutes. Maintain the tube at 42 degrees Celsius for 45 seconds and then immediately place it on ice for 2 minutes. Plate the mixture on an LB agar plate containing carbonicillin and incubate overnight at 37 degrees.